what is damped oscillation when the motion of oscillator is reduced by external friction or drag force then the oscillator and its motion is said to be damped so i'm writing when the motion of an oscillator is reduced by external friction or drag forces then oscillator and its motion is said to be damped okay so whenever there is external resisting force or drag force then the motion of oscillator is reduced okay so we need to understand this now let us understand damped oscillation with reference to example okay so we have a vertical mass spring system okay so this end of the spring is fixed to the rigid support and let the spring constant of the spring be k and let the mass of block be small m okay so we have this now let us consider a vessel filled with liquid okay now this side of the block is connected to a rod okay this is a rod and this end of the rod okay this end of the rod is connected to a flat surface okay and this is called a vein so we have this now let us take vertical direction as x axis so we have this now i'm writing we have a block or mass spring system okay so i'm writing this way block of mass m which oscillate vertically okay on a spring with spring constant k from the block okay a rod extends to a vein okay this is a vein and this is a rod and we take both rod and vein massless okay both massless we neglect the mass of rod and vein and we can see the vein is inside the liquid okay some part of the rod and vein is inside the liquid which is inside a liquid so we have this now as the vein moves up and down as the vein move up and down the liquid exerts 
drag force on it and on the entire oscillating system. So this is to be noted, okay? So I'm writing as the vein moves up and down the liquid exerts drag force or opposing force on it and on the entire oscillating system that is liquid exerts opposing force to this oscillating system that is to the vein and to the block mass spring system okay now what we find is that with time okay we find with time or as the time passes the mechanical energy energy of block spring system decreases okay yeah? so we need to understand this so what we find is that that is mechanical energy of block spring or mass spring system okay this is transferred to thermal energy okay that is heat of liquid and vein so i have written this okay with time the mechanical energy of block spring system or mass spring system decreases so why it decreases because the mechanical energy of block spring system is transferred to thermal energy of liquid and vein or thermal energy for liquid and vein so we find that now let me erase this okay Now let FD okay be the damping force exerted by the liquid on the oscillating system. Okay. So we have oscillating system, okay. Now, let us assume, okay, let us assume damping force proportional to magnitude of velocity of vein and block. So here we assume this, okay, damping force proportional to magnitude of velocity of vein and block provided. So this holds if the vein move slowly, okay. So this assumption or this fact or this assumption or supposition holds only when the vein move 
slowly. So we are taking damping force proportional to magnitude of velocity of vane and block. So we can write in this way, okay, in magnitude Fd, okay. So this equals minus B V. So in vector form, we can write this relation as vector Fd equals minus B vector V. Okay, where B is the constant, okay, and I'm writing over here where B, this is called damping constant, okay. So B is the constant of proportionality, okay, and is called damping constant and which measures the strength of damping okay so it measures i'm writing over here it gives or it measures the strength of damping now The value of B depends on the characteristics. Okay, this depends on the characteristics of vein and liquid. Clear? Yeah? So we find this. Now let us find its unit. Okay, what is the unit for B? unit of b now we can see from this expression okay b equals force by velocity okay so force is mass time acceleration and we have velocity so i'm writing this in magnitude okay i'm writing this in magnitude i'm taking this as magnitude so b equals <coughs> mass is kz acceleration is meter per second is square and we have velocity so velocity is meter per second so we get this so this cancels out so the unit for b is kz per second so i'm writing the unit of b is kz per second so this is to be noted, okay? So we have this. Now, what does negative sign in this equation indicate? So the negative sign indicates that FD is opposite to the motion or velocity drag force or damping force okay damping force is opposite to the motion or velocity so we have this now let me raise this okay So B is called, I'm writing over here, okay. This is damping constant. Now, here we have spring and block. We have spring and block, okay. So what we find for block spring system, okay. The force on block spring okay block or let me write in this way okay
the force on block from spring okay so i'm writing this as fs this is force on block from spring so this equals minus kx we are familiar with this equation okay and i have discussed block spring system in my previous video you can see in case of vertical mass spring system okay so i have discussed this equation in vertical mass spring system in my previous video now what we find from newton's second law okay so we can write in this way uh, let me do in rough okay force that is net force or total force this equals mass time acceleration and we are finding net force let's say along x axis okay so net force is minus b times velocity minus kx okay equals mass time acceleration okay so we are using this concept so this is along x axis so we are using this total force along x direction that is along this direction okay now we can rewrite in this way equals 0 so we have this clear so let me erase this okay Okay, I'm writing this relation, okay, over here. So we have MA plus BV plus KX equals zero on applying Newton's second law along X direction. Now, we can write M and we know acceleration equals okay this and velocity v equals this okay so let us write in this way okay equals zero so we have this equation okay let's call it equation one so this is equation one okay we have this now solution of equation one okay the solution of equation one is of the form xt equals xm e to the power minus bt by twice m cos omega dash t plus phi so let us call it equation two okay so we have this so xm this is the initial amplitude okay and phi 
this is the initial phase okay and omega dash this is the angular frequency okay of the damped oscillation so we need to note this okay and angular frequency omega dash equals under root k by m minus b square by 4 m square let us call it equation 3 so we have this Clear? Yeah, we have this so i'm erasing this Now, as I said earlier, B gives the strength of damping, okay? Strength of damping. It is called damping constant also. It measures the strength of damping. Now, let us discuss this, okay? Case one, if B equals zero, that is, there is no damping then what we find from 3 omega dash equals under root k by m so this is the frequency angular frequency for on damped oscillation okay there is no damping so this is the angular frequency for on damped oscillation now, in equation second, okay, let us come to equation second. This term, okay, xm e to the power minus bt by twice m, okay, is the amplitude, okay is the amplitude and this amplitude is not constant which is not constant what we find is not constant it decreases with time okay so we find this it decreases with time why because we have exponential okay term due to due to decreasing exponential exponential factor or term e to the power minus bt by 2m so this is the amplitude and the amplitude is not constant it decreases clear with time due to decreasing exponential factor e to the power minus bt by 2m so we have this clear now let us consider this, okay? Case 2. Omega dash becomes 0 when B is very large, okay? So if B is very large, then omega dash becomes zero. So we can write, therefore, we know omega dash is this, k by m minus b square by 
4 m square this whole equals 0 so we find this so on simplification we can write okay let us take square on both side so we can write k by m minus b square by 4 m square equals 0 and on simplification what we get b square equals 4 m square k by m so this cancel out so we can write b equals under root 4 mk so we can write b equals twice under root mk so we have this okay we have this now Okay, we have this result, okay. B equals to under root MK. So we have this and this condition, okay, this condition, this condition, okay, is the condition of critical damping. This is condition of critical damping. This is condition of critical damping. So, in case of critical damping, the system do not oscillate, but returns to its equilibrium position without oscillation when it is displaced or released. So I am writing over here in critical damping, okay. The system do not oscillate or oscillates but returns to its equilibrium position but returns to its equilibrium position without oscillation when it is displaced or released so we have this now Now let us consider case third, okay. If B is very, very greater than 2 under root Km. So we have this. Okay, we have this. We have B very, very greater than 2 under root Km. And this condition is called Okay, condition is called over damping. Okay, when we have this, then the condition is called over damping. So, what we find in over damping is that there is no 
oscillation okay there is no oscillation but the system returns to its equilibrium more slowly then that okay then that okay let me write in this way then that in critical damping so we have this there is no oscillation okay but the system comes or return to equilibrium position more slowly than in critical damping so we find this now now let us consider this okay case 4 if k by m okay this is greater than b square by 4m square okay then the condition condition is called under damped okay so in case of under damped the system oscillate with decreasing amplitude 